Now we are looking at I can solve inequalities. And again, you will be doing two problems. So I put a ton of extra problems on your study guide. You will only have to do two of these, okay? So I'm going to draw my barrier. I'm going to see if there's anything to distribute. Is there anything to combine? So now I need to isolate. So this is what I want to get alone. The inverse of dividing by six is going to be multiplying by six on both sides. So did I multiply or divide by a negative number on both sides? No, I multiplied by positive six on both sides, which means my sign is going to stay the same. So this is going to be my final answer, okay? Now let's look at the second one. We don't like when problems are flipped like this. If it doesn't bother you, that's great. And I'm going to solve it real fast like that just for those who it doesn't bother. Okay, I divided by a negative on both sides, which means that my sign has to flip directions. Keep that in mind. If you're the person that can't do that, it just drives you bonkers that the X is on the wrong side. Let's flip it. Draw right exactly as it is. Do not switch the order of these two. Keep them exactly as they are. But because it is inequalities, we have to flip the sign. The alligator mouth is opening towards the side with the X, so it needs to continue to open up with the side, sorry, with the mouth opening up to the side with the X. So I'm going to draw my barrier. I'm going to circle what I want to get alone. The inverse of minus two is going to be plus two. Bring down my negative six X. This is gonna be 18. In order to get x alone, I need to separate these two, which means I need to divide by a negative six. On both sides, did I divide by a negative number? Yes, so my sign needs to flip directions. And if you notice, while these look different, the alligator mouth still is opening up to the negative three. That is why when you flip this around, right? We have to make sure we watch our sign and make sure when we divide by that negative, we end up flipping our sign, okay? So let's look at number three. This one's got a little bit extra, right? So I have my barrier. I need to, before I isolate, distribute. Excuse me. So I'm going to distribute negative, oh, I'm sorry, this is the wrong way for a lot of you, isn't it? So negative 6x minus 12 plus 12 on both sides. Ooh, that's kind of nice, isn't it? By negative 6 and make sure that you flip your sign. All right, so if I were to flip this again, I am not changing anything the way that the numbers look. The only thing that I'm gonna fuss with is my sign, okay? So I'm going to draw my line. Same thing that we just talked about, we are going to distribute here. Negative two times three X is negative six X. Negative two times positive six is negative 12. And then that's gonna equal negative 12 on the other side, okay? To work to get the six X alone, I need to add 12 to both sides. That cancels out. I have negative six X is greater than or equal to zero. To get the x alone, I need to divide by negative 6. Did I multiply or divide by a negative on both sides? Yes. So my sign has to flip 
directions. And zero divided by anything is zero, okay? Last one, dealing with inequalities. I'm going to draw my line. I'm going to next distribute, and I'm going to put my little arrows underneath. I kind of ran out of room. I didn't make these boxes big enough. 3 times x is going to be 3x. 3 times positive 6 is positive 18. Just bring down my sign as it is. Then I'm going to work to get that 3x alone. I'm going to subtract 18 on both sides. 3x, bring down my sign as it is, is negative 20. Divide by 3 because that's how I'm going to get that x to be by itself. I'm going to separate them. Did I multiply or divide? Did I multiply or divide by negative on both sides? No. So this is going to stay the same way. I cannot reduce my fraction, so I'm just going to keep it as that. Okay. Again, your test is going to be fractions given in the simplest form. Okay, and that's all it's going to be for inequalities.